Broadcasting basically live from a burnt out building, it's your boy, Hot Super Saiyan Shark Teeth Girl! And today, joining with me once again is my wonderful co host, Living Like Log. How you been, Pretty big good, buddy? you know, now that the fire has Pretty gone good, down, now, my burnt gone. my burnt skin could have a rest, and you know, it's it's been good. I'm, I've been you know liking yeah. the little vacation from all that fire. Yes, now we have a bunch of rain, but that's okay. We're not burning yeah. to death. So that said, it seems that Okada Senpai has decided to uh, notice our little plight. Uh, it seems that our feedback has um, finally did something and he actually noted, mentioned a lot of interesting stuff. Now the first thing is most important to us and that is that he gave us a bunch of stuff. He gave us a bunch of augments, the stuff that you were complaining oh, yeah. about before. And you oh, know yeah. what? This is good. This is great. It, it Not only is it good for now, but it opens the door for the price reduction or something along the lines of that. Now, what do you think about the um, other things with regards to uh, difficulty and such like that? In terms of like terms the of, High Dragon Trial difficulty or just how, they, how they're addressing difficulty in the post? How they address difficulty? One of the things, the things they said that honestly made me a bit worried or skeptical when they were addressing the high dragon weapons it was there it was during the high dragon uh section of the post they said that the high dragon weapons were not going to be necessary for story uh for story quests and you know special events aside from the special difficulties within those events or uh story modes so that does show to me that you know a lot of the things that we might have complained about you know, balancing the game around the high dragon weapons and stuff like that, that might come into play. That's something that worried me. Yeah, I mean, it technically doesn't affect the story and such like that, but the highest difficulty level gives the best rewards. You don't have these rewards, it's kind of hard to catch up to the others. Now, one thing I think about the difficulty that high dragon could be fixed is something like this. Now, currently as it is, I don't know if you played Dark Souls. Have you played I've Dark like Souls? played the first like hour or so of it, but it didn't hold my interest. I see, I see. Well, Dark Souls, despite the fact that you know some people say it's hard, yada yada yada, it's actually rather lenient. If something happens, you chug an Estus and you're okay again. Like you don't die in a single hit, or hey, say one of your companion gets hit in the face, you don't lose immediately. I don't even have companions for the most part. But now, the current difficulty in this game is, in my opinion, harder than that of Dark Souls. Because you, even if you could count on yourself to dodge everything, to work the mechanics, you can't count on your teammates to dodge everything. So when that happens, they die, you have to start over again. When you, and you know, I mentioned this before, but as this keeps on happening, you lose focus. And when you lose focus, it just keeps going downhill from there. So I propose that, I'm going to send feedbacks about this, is that to make things a lot more forgiving, instead of like dying in one hit, maybe in two or three hits like that. Now you may think, oh yeah, you're making this too easy, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Well, I think that hardcore players would probably value time attack more than uh, standard maps that we're supposed to be farming. You played again. And, you know, if we're going to be farming these content, why make it so difficult? We're already spending so much, so many hours on it. Now, for guys with time attacks, if they get hit once, they're pretty much dead in, in ways that those precious seconds were gone. So why not just keep things kind of easy? Not super easy, just challenging. You know, I think that the most most balanced difficulty is something that is challenging but not like frustrating or just downright stupid you know just waste just your time if we're not wait I mean like when you lose you have to sit through a loading screen you have to go back to the lobby and sometimes people get disconnected you don't get your pug buddies back you know those guys that you work with for hours and you thought that hey we're gonna clear this map with but it turns out to be a trap and then they disconnected and you never see them again that kind of stuff and then your whole group is ruined Let's try to limit that a little. Let's just keep the difficulty for 
doing actual maps to be kind of manageable. It's not a mess. And when we're actually competing, we'll just use Time Attack. I mean, Time Attack brought out a whole lot of um, interesting builds that people set up. I think it's a nice competitive thing. I think that is something for end game players. And I don't think they'll complain if, you know, most of their competition goes into time attacks rather than, you know, doing regular high dragon maps. Let's just keep the high dragon maps manageable. Let's not spend six hours, 12 hours on it. By the way, did you clear a uh, high Jupiter yet? Almost cleared it. I got to 10% HP. And then we all got wiped by some random uh, X lightning. It was awful. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get it. I'm yeah. so close. And I per I'm here's so the thing close. about Master. You know that you can personally do it, but like you said, it's up to your teammates. So I'm at the will of everyone else. Unfortunately. Well, I, I, I guess you know this weekend I am planning on actually playing a couple. You, you say you I play Gleal, right? So I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pick up. I'll pick up some Audric skills because I can't farm Glio. You know why? Because I'm going to use up all my weeklies just to farm for stuff for Glio. And by that time, I won't be able to. I won't have enough time to actually use You still use need Glio. to get into I'm the loop, behind right? It. The High Jupiter, High Zodiac loop. Oh, yes, man. Yes, that's dude, also yeah, another problem with this it's fucking like, game. It's so this hard is to get into it. with it's this so, fucking game. Dude, I had to get a hard carry for, to beat High Zodiac because all you have is a void weapon, right? So I had to get a hard carry. I needed people to help me because no one else wanted to carry me, and it was the worst. If you need help, I'll help you because I, I can get some people out, and I need to also grind some more High Zodiac for sure. Well, it... I'm I'm going to definitely appreciate this. I, I will definitely ask you for help with regards to this, but I don't think I have enough time. I, I probably have enough time to build up an Audric, and slap Just him give with a void weapon, learn yeah, my rotations. Something. Yeah, learn my rotations, and then start baiting. It may be kind of hard, but it's okay. I will do it. That's what real men do. And then I'll kill myself, and then you guys will have a good time doing your Glio things. And then I'll worry about playing Glio when I actually start farming up that stuff. But you know, that's what's stupid about this game. Why the hell is it so hard to get into these things without help? I mean, if you have help, it's fine. But if you don't have help, it, it's tough to get in. Like, if you missed the uh, first set where everybody else is using uh, void weapons, now you can't get in because people look down on void weapons. What, yeah, what the fuck? Well, where do you the think thing, people come like, from? Like, all these people are like, oh, you don't need to clear it. You don't need to. It'll come back. Well, duh. Okay, you're not you're not contributing anything to the conversation by saying that. Instead, think of it from this perspective. It's a co-op game, right? This isn't a single player game. It's a co-op game. You have to rely on your teammates, and you'll want to play with people that have a similar level of might or similar level of. Uh, you know, quote unquote skill as you. And to judge that skill, you judge it by having a certain might level or having a certain weapon, right? So once the initial master difficulties come out, all of them, if you don't have the tier two high dragon trial weapon because you skipped a master for a week or just couldn't do it, you're going to be looked down upon and people will leave your room because it's a co-op content uh, battle. If this was a single player battle, if this was a solo game, if this was a solo boss battle, solo content, you could take it at your own pace, just like Brickroll Gauntlet. But people using that argument with co-op stuff like this are just playing wrong. Like, they're just wrong. There's no way around it. Exactly, exactly. I was talking about this uh, when I was summoning for Lathna before. By the way, did you summon No, for I didn't, but... We, no, I we did, I talked to you, I was like, oh, she's kind of disappointing. But the more I've looked into her kit, she's actually pretty good. She's actually got some tools. Her, mm -hmm. her skill yeah, one is very powerful. She's kind of her interesting. <laughs> yeah, except, you know, it does. <laughs> Gleal still damage dude. her. Dude, what the fuck? The it's like, why even bother? She's good in Mercurial Gauntlet, but why even bother? Because you're not going to be able to use her in High Dragon Trials. You know, you're Gleo gated. That's what we should call it. Gleo gate. Gamer gate, move out of the way. <laughs> Leo gate is here. Leo gate. <laughs> You're absolutely right. You're absolutely positively correct. Honestly, they really should just admit that they're wrong. Just, just honestly, I wouldn't be upset. I, I you wouldn't be upset, right? I wouldn't be upset. Right? I wouldn't be upset. What the fuck am I supposed I, to be upset well, about? People, I'm upset that I can't use other like characters. This elitist mentality, like, have, like I spent X amount of money, X amount of Wormite on Leo. Don't mess with her. I'd rather they mess with her. You know. 
nerf her a little bit than make all the other content annoying. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Like, seriously. <laughs> I, I actually look forward to using yeah. Lothna, so I probably won't let that stop me, but I can't use it in Hot Master. That, You're that's supreme not luck, happen. man. Yeah. You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Did you get it? You, you got it off that. your first tenfold, was it? And you got you got two five stars. Yeah, you got uh, Curran yeah. and her. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Supreme <laughs> luck. Crazy, that. That's out of... <laughs> out of your mind. Jesus Christ, man. You know, yeah, but... But the, Did people the, yeah, get mad at you for clickbait? We, we should. I know that nah, was a problem nah, last not this time. time. I mean, <laughs> I mean, just say, look, look. I mean, look. Listen, it's like I have this many mm -hmm. wormites. I'm going to use it to fight this banner. So it's this many wormite versus that banner. It's, I think it makes like perfect sense game. to me. But hey, people go like clickbait. Game. Exactly. It's exactly. like a fighting game. It, this is how much mm -hmm. life I have. I mean, granted, you know, I've been holding on to it for a while because I've got pretty lucky these last couple uh, yeah, summons. Yeah. But, uh, well, that's besides the point. So, what was I going to say? But yeah, I mean, all right, say if we don't nerf Gleo, all right? Why don't we just keep the content the same way it is? So then, you know, people with Gleo have an easier time, and people who don't can do what the fuck they want instead of the shit right now. I think that's. supposed to make things easier. They're not supposed to be what it's balanced around. Like, ugh. Exactly, exactly. It, this is exactly what I mean earlier when, when it comes to High Dragon difficulty too. Alright, look, we're, we're playing a nice RPG game. We shouldn't be feeling frustration. We should be feeling like heroes. We should be feeling good about our units. We shouldn't be like struggling all the time. We didn't build all this stuff just to struggle some more. I mean, I guess that's how it is in like actual rating games, like PC rating and such. But even then, after a certain point when you get your like tier 2s and such, or whatever whatever high tier stuff in uh, WoW or some shit like that. <laughs> when we get these things, we should feel powerful. We should be able to carry harder. But you know what? Hey, that tier 2 Ramona nonsense. Oh my god, I have tier 2 Ramona stuff. Rena has tier 2 stuff. We're still having some tough time making, making the time limit. That's the problem with the game currently. And also, you know, I as I was talking about this in, um, in the uh, summoning for Latna, there, there's this girl that I know, and her, her boyfriend can't keep up because he's got to work. So he, in the end, he ended up with only a tier one Max and Bound Ramona weapon. Nobody will take him. So he ends up missing <laughs> another week as well. Now, we could say that, hey, look, now the rotation is back to, um, instead of from like weeks and such, it's like you get a new dragon each day. I still find that kind of stupid because then if you don't end up getting your weapon, then you have to wait a week. And you know, that one week could screw you up. Because like you said earlier, you know, people might not even take you at this point, which I find really stupid. Why the hell do they I don't do, that? do that? I don't do Why? that. I, don't do I thought that. I've got the tier two. Like I said at last podcast, I have the T2 Lance for Flame, but I'll still take people with Tier 1. Like, I'll carry them. I don't care. I got the power to carry them. I think that's that's like a toxicity within the fan base. Like, if you have the power to carry them, just carry them. It's not a big deal. Let them get their first clear on you. Who cares? Oh, yeah, dude. We, we actually, you know, uh, I don't know if I talked about this last time, but when I was... Uh, uh, raiding in the underground with uh, uh, Discord, you know, those guys were talking about how this one one dude was it Jeremy? I don't even know. Why am I dropping names? But anyway, one one guy was like, you know, he apparently he didn't want to carry people because they didn't get enough good enough time, so they just drop out instead of finishing the map for tails. Mm -hmm. Now that I find to be absolutely ridiculous. He's just like, oh yeah, we're not gonna make the time, just leaves and tries again instead of going for um, actually getting the tails for people. Some people are even like trying to get their clears, but you know, they, they, they're so fixated on the time that, hey, you know, we're, we're, not, we're not going to continue because we didn't manage to make a decent time. That sort of thing. I don't think it's Jeremy. I, I, I don't think it's him. I don't know why <laughs> I, I, I suddenly thought of that guy, but you know, I, I, I just remember that they were saying his name a lot. It's like, oh yeah, this guy is no life. He just teams up with, with good players all the time, yada, yada, yada. Which also brings us to another point. I think that we should think of a system where we don't just stick with good players all the time. Like, um, I, I think like, back to Dark Souls again, like Sunlight Medals. So when you co-op with someone in uh, Dark Souls and you help them through a boss, you get Sunlight Medals if you're part of the Sun Bros. 
and you can use the sunlight metal to trade for like interesting gears and emotes and the likes of that so why can't we have something like that where we help players through their first clear or, or something just or just because they have less might or something like that through their standards and their experts so that they can actually play the game and by doing so we get a small little reward to get an emo to get weapon or, or something or a new even a new skin or something cool like that that would be sweet i think that that's something that we should look into getting they for could i mean they could just make it a part of the treasure trade honestly you get sunlight medals or whatever the dry lost equivalent is uh and maybe there's like a special queue that you need to go to where you'll be introduced to newer players or players that are going for their first clear something like that uh i know Dragaya Lost with like its matchmaking system, there's like certain things that you could put like I'm going for epithets or I'm going for practice, stuff like that, but nobody uses that. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> nobody, nobody <laughs> yeah, uses that. I know that. exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, it's a pain in the ass to set it up in the first place. And by using those things, you limit the number of people who can come to your room in the first place. So I could see why nobody uses exactly. this stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I think that if we can f figure out a way to uh, make people play with each other more often, then this would help out the overall environment. Of course, I still need to actually get my first clear, so I'm, you know, this is kind of counterintuitive to what I just said, but I, I think we should we should form a group. I think you and me, we, we should form a group. We, we should, I know a couple people who, who cleared the map already. They're, they're pretty good. Uh, I, I think we need to go and ask for their help because it's going to be weekend soon. If oh, we miss dude, I can't this, miss it, man. I really behind. can't. It. It's going to be bad. And I, yeah, yeah, I'm honestly bad. worried that Zodiac might be even harder. Just, just, just to screw with us. <sighs> <sighs> exactly. And if we don't have the sword, what oh. the fuck are we going to do? Sit yeah. in our oh asses God. for a whole week? <laughs> I, I, we're gonna be in trouble so you know originally I was going to quit if I don't get my weapon this week but you know after hearing about what Okada had had said I decided that I'm gonna be a little more uh, chill if I don't make it I'll just chill out I'll, I'll, I'll just chill out but I'm gonna try I'm, I'm still going to try as hard as I can to do you get think you're gonna this. do like what you personally do, do for Faye where like you still play it but you don't uh, don't spend as much money on it. Like, do you think you'll spend like cut back your spending on Trick Eye Lost? Perhaps. Definitely. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll probably cut Definitely. back my my spending. Actually, I've been cutting back on my spendings. So originally the game was oh uh, two hundred dollars the subscription. Oh, the monthly, <laughs> oh the monthly packs. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two hundred dollars subscription. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it sounds yeah. absolutely stupid. I know, I know. But I mean, hey, listen. I mean, people in WoW, there are people who actually pay like multiple accounts so they they can multi box. Now those people are crazy. Those people are absolutely crazy. Multi boxing a whole raid all by themselves, dude. That's absolutely insane. No, I'm not that insane. But um, two hundred dollars subscriptions. You know the um, the. Uh, ingots the dragon stones even maybe even back then i even bought keys so in the beginning i i was a it was pretty bad but i before i started spending i made sure that the game was cool you know originally when i first started the game actually i had a very bad impression of it because the worm prints the all that um 0.5 percent summoning it, it was it was worrisome but then you notice that oh hey this little three-star character that i really like can clear these maps i i like francesca personally i i love her so much she's a cheerful merchant she's hot <laughs> she's got big boobs she's great she's got everything I, I i want in a character but well i mean like i thought that i couldn't run her before and i was able to use her i was very pleased i was able to use althemia i was very pleased three-star characters are actually very viable they can they can be used and they can clear maps and this was the case even through all the uh, high dragons on standard which i think honestly should be the golden standard difficulty we shouldn't have to bring out some crazy difficulty for the same old fight that we already have i think we should just bring out new fights instead of like they went around with expert and master wrong like standard was the perfect it was a great difficulty so instead of like adding more hp checks and adding more dps checks how about you just add more mechanics to the fight like what masters did but you know remove 
the um you know extra stats just make it harder just make it harder in a different way like mechanics wise instead of just artificial i think that'd help yeah that'd help. exactly exactly sort of like gating you yeah. even harder from the hp check or you know killing you in one shot that's so silly i mean if you know you screwed up you screwed up but it, I, I just don't like the idea of it just completely ruining everything and to do it all over again. It, I mean, I, I can understand a certain amount of uh, screw screw ups before um, a raid um, uh, wipe, but I don't know. I, I honestly just it, maybe it's just me getting old and tired, but I just don't see that we should make this game into a serious WoW like RPG experience. This. I don't know how WoW is now, but from what I understood, you need like three separate builds in order to even raid. Like you actually have to build your own tank, healer, or something like that. I don't know. I don't even know the situation. I'm just listening from what people told me. But it's gotten to the point that you need to have a bit of everything. And here, well, luckily we are able to find groups with one of our classes. We don't have to worry about, oh, I have to build Autric and Cleo at the same time, yeah. sort of stuff. But, you know, I, I, I just, I don't know. I just wish that the difficulty just kind of chills out a little bit. L let's just keep this experience chill. I mean, this game is on a cell phone, please. It's not like some AAA game. It doesn't need to be that serious. If you want to be serious, just keep it in time attacks where people, you know, who spend money or are really super dedicated. You know, you don't have to spend a lot of money to be good at time attack. You just need to know some tricks. There's a lot of fun and exciting tricks in this game. You see this all the time in, in Time Attack. You see those crazy ass builds. Like um, for a while, I saw Karina being the top uh, water DPS for um, for High Brunhilda. That was kind of interesting. They they used the fact that um, uh, Karina has this S1 that gets a lot of damage. The more the more buffs that she has, that was interesting. And then they moved on to like three Summer Solarias <laughs> and one Ellie. That was interesting too. So I think that time attack is a good way for end game players to do end game stuff. But you know, regular farming, like regular progression. Let's just keep it chill. Let's just keep it, you know, less of a headache. I I, I mean, I just want to form a little group, finish everything in like an hour or two, get back to what we're doing. We have all these events going on right now, and even though the reruns, we still need to do them. And when what happens is if we have new events how are we going to squeeze the time to do that and the, and this um and the current high dragons and also every other obligation obligations that we have in life or other games True. i mean like we, there's only so much time in, in a person's life so that was one of the driving forces behind me considering quitting so i decided that you know maybe that was a bit much maybe i'll just chill out and to answer your question earlier i, I would definitely spend less money but, I mean, maybe I, I might cut it all together like I did with Fire Emblem Heroes. That's what I did with Fire Emblem Heroes. I told them, listen, you know, unless they fix the power... Well, the power creep is okay as long as it's kept under control. Not like something that completely invalidates an entire character. That's, That's what, what Cleo is right something there. Something like invalidates. Cleo is right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, anything that it, it completely invalidates something else, I, I do not stand for. And, you know, that's what Drugeli has done with Glio and the, um, and what happens with the core weapons. We, we can't do anything with them. That's terrible. It, it, it makes you feel bad because I invested a lot on Veronica. I invested a lot on Alphemia, but I can't use them anymore. People are going to look at me like I have five heads <laughs> if I were to use them in, in uh, High Jupiter or even Expert Jupiter. I don't think they'll let me in. Yeah. So... Oh, yeah. no, no. Even Standard Jupiter. No, they have the oh, Glio God, dude, even Standard there. Jupiter. Yeah, they just want Glios. Yeah, they, they will not yeah. let you in. <laughs> they see you, they exactly. just leave. I did want to mention, uh, though, going back to time trials that. real quick, they fixed the thing that we were complaining about. They gave out, they gave everyone out the Midgard Storm of Rewards, even if they didn't complete it. If they didn't complete it? They did, yeah. Really? I, there was a news post, did, I believe. Yeah. I, there was a news post, I believe. Oh, really? I, I didn't know that. That, I, oh, man. I, dude, I was sending them feedbacks nonstop about that. I'm like, dude, the people can't plan around all this shit in two weeks. Oh, I'm so glad. I, I didn't see yeah, this. Yeah, let me try to find the news yeah, post. Because I, I thought uh, I saw saw them say something like that. Um, 
Oh man, oh man, oh man, faith restored. This is good. This is really good. Maybe I'm crazy. Hold up. I'm looking I'm for it. Maybe I was, it was just a dream, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure it was. It's such a dream. No. <laughs> no. Even if it's such a dream, it, it feels like a good dream. I, like, I'm just going to accept like it as it. reality. <laughs> well, they, they did say that. I did see a thing where they say they kn they know that they screwed up. Trying to squeeze everything in the that same. That made me very happy. The same, uh, because they at least happy. it makes them. It makes me at least confident, confident that they know they screwed up. You know, it's know it's worse if they're just mm -hmm. like you yeah. know, uh, just completely ne neg negligent. Yeah. There you go, neg neg of the entire situation. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I'm really happy to see that. That that's what made me decide that instead of that stance that I was in earlier, like oh fuck, I'm just gonna quit. I decide that I'm gonna stay around and see. I mean, if things keep going this way, where they, you know, admit their mistakes, they fix it, this is good. Then I would continue to play this game. Like when I saw him say, with the release of massive difficulties and time attacks, the schedule become rather crowded. He apologizes for that. And well, since they haven't, you know, tell him my reasons to have power up for augments, they made things difficult. So he gave us more augments. Now that is very pleasing to me. I'm really happy to see them actually making strides into fixing that these problems that they screwed up. I mean, it would be even better if they do the same thing with Gleal. Just say, listen, we're sorry, we're screwed up, we made Gleal too powerful, we were causing contents to be warped around her, so we're either going to, one, keep difficulty of the contents the same, or well, buffing all the other characters would be too much. Just nerfing Gleo, and just even just a little bit, make her make her area effects doesn't stack, or something like that. Just keep her manageable. You know, one of these two ways should should be sufficient. I don't even think you know, like many people are going to be that unhappy. I, no, I think I don't. Are as long as they they have to nerf Gleo and nerf the difficulty of the content somewhat, though. So a lot of it, like Master, almost like requires Gleo. So if they just if they, just nerfed, Gleo, if they yeah. just nerfed Gleo, then that content Gleo. would become impossible, perhaps. You know what I mean? So it's yeah, a, it's, yeah. they should have I done this it. early. It, they should have just admitted it early. Now they're kind of dug themselves a little hole. <laughs> I know, exactly. I, I, I said this the last time we talked about this, but, you know, there was a considerable period of time when Okada took office and to Gleo being released. They have plenty of time to play test it, but... Well, they decide that, you know, they're, they're just going to go through with it, you know? I, I actually, like I said, like we laughed about before, I don't even think they playtest no. any of this stuff. It's ridiculous. It's just, like, how can they release Gala Ranzel and Gala Cleo under the same Gala name? <laughs> like, Gala Ranzel oh. is the biggest disappointment <laughs> ever. <laughs> he got he got power creeped <laughs> by a regular permanent creep. pool adventure yeah. with Gala Stan. I know! I still like Gala Ranzo yeah. a lot, but yeah, yeah, his his uh, silly little mechanic should really do even more damage. He, he needs to go through a lot of messing around <laughs> before he can finally pump out his true potential. I went through high uh, Mercury with him, so I, I know exactly how his rotation works. It's a pain in the ass! As soon as um, Luis joins the party, he, or the skill haze causes my rotation to be weird. I can't do the same thing that I could do normally with um, Galaranzo in uh, Mercury because suddenly I had, I gain my skill faster and if I hold on to the skill, I lose DPS. It, it's just such a poor way to build them. It's funny, it, it's supposed to make them better, it's supposed to make them more interesting, but it just screws with you. Whereas with Bridal Ellie, you just kind of like, oh yeah, drop this little a little altar and you're fine. You're okay. Ah, Gala yeah. Ranzo. And then they released Gala, uh, released Gala, Gala Cleo, Gala. and you're like, okay, yeah. this is perfectly yeah. fine. <laughs> this is perfectly fine. Yeah. Oh, I wish they had the same wisdom as they did when they uh, did Gala Udin. Gala Udin. Oh my God, that he, one. That one should have been. Yeah, a free no, character. honestly, he. He was the biggest disappointment, honestly, out of all the Galas. I spent too much on him. Honestly, in like retrospect, I probably wouldn't have even pulled. To be honest. How much be honest. how much did you spend? It had to be like around forty thousand. Had to be. Yeah. Thousand. Yeah. What the fuck? It's like 
Okay, if if we call forty dollars two thousand, then two thousand eight hundred dollars. I didn't spend. I didn't spend any money. What it was all stockpile. I did spend some diamantium, but uh, still. But but in yeah. terms of value, that's eight hundred dollars. I know. And he's not even that what the good. <laughs> hey, he was terrible. He should have been a free character that you get at the end of chapter ten, because you know you get all dressed up to go and have his vengeance and all that stuff. But now, for players who don't actually summon him, they get to see him wear this fancy-looking clothes, but he doesn't actually wear these fancy-looking yeah. clothes. Was he another that you got with your single <laughs> supreme <laughs> luck? I was just like, I guess it's karma. I, honestly, it's karma for the Phoenix. For spending honestly, all, all that the Phoenix, for the Phoenix. Honestly. Yeah, the Phoenix have given my account the re rebirth, a supreme rebirth. And then Okada like that. heard that you might be quitting, and he gave you, uh, gave you last <laughs> night. <boy. laughs> I bet you these next couple summon showcases, your luck's gonna be a little bit too good. <laughs> oh. oh, Okada, Okada. You know, I actually was talking to someone about this before too um he told me to go easy on okada i mean it's not like you know he had a choice i mean i guess i can kind of understand that the higher ups probably you know made these decisions with regards to that but you know i don't want to see this game being run as another grand blue grand blue is a browser game it's not an action rpg it is a completely different game we shouldn't use grand blue as a standard Grand Blue is oh, is a good game, but we should not use it as a standard. We we cannot just you know expect to do the same thing in a browser game to an RPG, hmm. action RPG, where one mistake would cause you to wipe and you do it over again for six hours. I think, I think we're allowed to be <laughs> skeptical of, of Okada since like his last game wasn't it a complete failure, <laughs> right? Some like Clash of Clans, yeah, Clash Royale, it didn't, it like rip off, like kind of thing. So I don't know. He, yeah, it didn't, it didn't do too yeah. well. People say that they they were treated nice, but it didn't do too well. Shut down, and all that it made a lot of people skeptical. But well, I think that you know, at the very least, if he can admit fault and work towards fixing it, that's enough of a reason for me to stick around, at least just to see. I mean, we still have that really hyped up uh, Mega Man stuff going on, and we talked about how yeah, dragons will cause him to have different elements when he uses shoots his X blast. Oh no, not X blaster. My bad. Uh, what the hell is this? Uh, isn't it called? like the we Mega Buster or something like that? The Mega Buster or something. Yeah, 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 something like that. X blaster. Oh, Jesus Christ! I just, I just can't get over the fact dude, that dude and use Zero Mega as a blade dude, unit. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, dude! Oh, oh god! god. <laughs> Well, can't be helped. Then that's just the nature of things. We're, we're stuck with just Mega Man. I guess they can't get too much for the um, for the uh, collab. Collabs are kind of difficult to deal with. It's not like hey, us getting together uh, on a mic and uh, using uh, our pictures and such. It's not as easy as that. They had to actually go through a whole bunch of legal stuff. Yada yada yada. It takes forever. But at the very least, we have that, and I'm actually looking forward to see what kind of reason for him to to show up in this place. I want to see his adventure story. I'm dying to read it. I, I love stories. I, I just love stories in this game. This is the main reason I play the game. Just listen to sto stupid It'll stories. It'll be weird how they justify. Uh, it yeah. looks like from like the screenshot we got that he's like we're gonna be in, you know, Dragaya Lost's world. We're not going to the Mega Man world. So it'll be interesting to see what they do to justify his existence. <laughs> It's so weird. He looks so out of place. He's like with <laughs> Ezolith so and Makoto. Yeah. So out of place. But so but he changed the UI as well. You saw those health yeah, UIs, yeah. right? Yeah, he yeah, changes yeah. everything. It's it's gonna be very interesting to use. I, I'm glad he's free because uh, summoning for that on top of uh, Dragon Yule and all that stuff would be kind of weird. Although I am dying to see Zero and such. Eh, eh. Eh, if it's how it is, it's how it is. I'm not gonna complain about it. it I, I, I can live with this. Yeah. I'll... Although it's a little too easy. Oh, okay. I just said like, I just said I, I would like a summon showcase, but you know, I guess I can't complain too hard. Especially they said they're like putting the most effort into him, 
like compared to any other adventure like they're really trying to make him unique so i'm okay with it if he's that you know special as long as he's not Galaranzo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the mechanic screwed him over instead of making. As him long as good. he's not Alphonse 2.0, <laughs> I'll say that. He better. Alphonse. Yeah, he's not bad, either, but like yeah. he's not, he's not special. I want Mega Man to be good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Alphonse is as you would expect out of a free character. A Mega Man would be interesting. I. At least I hope I can use him in other difficulties. I want to. I don't want to see him be like. 50% resistance with some stupid elements and some bane that would be terrible. I'd rather not have that happen yeah. now um, You know that we actually uh, actually have some kind of data mine about uh, a Monster hunter collab that could be very interesting. Have you I played have monster I played hunter? it on the 3ds. I think it was uh, Four and then I also played ultimate oh, as well ultimate Oh, 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 dude, you yeah. got the good stuff. I played three, and then I played Monster Hunter World, but I know all about four. It, oh man, I'm actually dying to see how that kind that of collab would honestly, be. That honestly, is more interesting than Mega this Man, just because there's yes. all those boss yes. battles. Just imagine, oh man, dude, can you imagine, yeah, you know, we have to make a camp, and we're gonna like scrape our weapons with it, whetstones. And hunt down these monsters. Oh, dude, that would be so fun. I, I miss Monster Hunter already. I, I, well, I want to play Iceborne. I was waiting for the PC version to uh, play with my friends because I can use these mods. I can turn my character into a big boob <laughs> Camilla creature and, <laughs> and axe people to death. <laughs> uh, I imagine that like oh, a Monster that. Hunter collab, you'd have to like target specific like uh, parts of the bosses that oh, we, we bosses? really do that yeah but like they could yeah. like make it have yeah, even like, more they, parts they, than usual yeah. and um like uh. you could get specific item drops for whatever you uh hit and stuff i don't know i just think there's a lot mm -hmm. of mechanics they can use mechanics. with monster hunters kind of i don't know yeah what we'll the chase them between That'd be different cool. maps like a1 and a2 you have to throw a paintball on them <laughs> yeah yeah if another fucking monster show up with the throw shit at his face oh, oh drive man. him away oh god oh yes that would be so sweet oh man oh man I'm, it's not even out i'm like just daydreaming over dope. it already but anyway yeah, so um, hopefully with, with Mega Man, we get like new maps and such as well. Like that defense map that we have with Fire Emblem Heroes, that was definitely the high high point of that event. Something new and interesting to play. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Maybe we'll even get like a side-scroller. Oh, can you believe? Like using like different oh, characters cool. instead of just Mega Man oh, and a side-scroller. Cool. Oh my god, dude, that would be so epic. I could see them doing it. Oh, I'm like I could see them doing, doing it. it. They did unique stuff with <laughs> Faye. Let's do it with Mega Man too. Do it with Mega Man yeah, I mean they did. They also did the toe hole thing with the um, with the uh, knots slumber mm -hmm. shot. That was interesting. So it's definitely not out of the question here. I'm just imagining like Ezolith being inside the stroller, like that, mm, just shooting like little fire waves. Anyway, uh, I should probably go back to my. <laughs> we were getting new weapons. From oh this yeah. As well. What do you think about? Okay, these they weapons? look cool, especially the bow. Okay, the bow look looks cool, insane. The but. Bow. Oh, oh yeah, man, yeah. new weapons just leaves new a bad weapons. taste in my mouth, it's man. Like, <laughs> we've had plenty of new <laughs> weapons the last two new. weeks. I don't want <laughs> any more. I want to focus on my high dragons, and that's it. These will just be, like, just the most like, gimmicky weapons ever. I could already call it. No one's going to use them. Oh, yeah, it's probably, like, these three-star weapons oh, that yeah. we get. I, you know what, though? Like, I will Halloween. use them at to, uh, I will, I will use them for, like, the aesthetic change they're giving, yeah. where, like, you can... That'll be oh, cool. Yeah. That'll be cute. Oh, yeah, I'll yeah, just yeah, use them yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's that. We would have to earn exactly. all of them then. Shit. But yeah, yeah, dude, that bow looks like it's my wings. Cool, it's amazing. It looks just like <laughs> my wings. I, 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 I'm dying to to get that bow. I mean, all the other weapon looks really cool too. But that bow, Jesus, just look at it. It comes in parts ah, it's like so this. cool. It's and like it's got that middle part where you can just hold, oh, and then the rest is just like ah. <laughs> just, <laughs> so cool. I do. Oh my god, I'm having an orgasm looking at these weapons. But um, you know, I have another thought. Maybe, it just maybe, it could be the bridge between core weapons to our um, expert hmm. weapons, 
or maybe it could even be in the same level of power as the expert weapons. Maybe we thought about it in advance. Maybe, but would they limit nah. that to like nah. limited time? Nah. 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 These are going to be the Jack o Lance 2.0. They're going to look like robot designs. I know. And you're not going to ever Oh, um, but one can dream. Uh, you know what actually might be good? That staff might be good. If that's a four or five star staff with the healing skill, that might be a good staff. Yeah, because we're looking at our fucking healers. Our healers don't our healers even don't heal, heal anymore. Heal. So, like, <laughs> that's the only weapon that has potential. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, 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 hey, look, look, look. one can yeah. hope, one can dream. Maybe, maybe I'm right. If I'm right, dude, I'm gonna be so I'm fucking called it, bro! I'm gonna be like, I fucking called it! Oh, man, oh, man. But I, I'm really happy about this, though. I, I, I'm glad that they're putting more effort into the character. I, I really don't want to see another oh, Alphonse. Yeah. Uh, and I also called that he would be using a wand, yeah. too. People said that, they were, oh, he's going to use a bow and whatnot. The wand's too slow. I'm like, dude, no way, man. The wand looks like energy blast. It has to be a wand. And as it turns out, it is a wand. I like what they're doing. They're like, it's a wand, but it's going to hit faster. So it's like they take the wand, mm -hmm. like boxes, yeah. like hit, hit boxes. And they're just yeah. combining it with like the bow's speed. I like that. Yeah, I, I thought that this is very interesting. It changes the whole. He honestly of feels things. like a brand new weapon type, and I hope like they do stuff like this in the future with like non crossover characters. Like, give us the yes. unique. Yes. I like I like exactly. the, the new co abilities too. We haven't touched upon that in last podcast either, but the new co abilities are awesome. I love that. That's one of the best changes they've done in a while. Oh, definitely. In fact, the whole reason why that team in the um, high mid expert high mid guard has uh, first place was because they were using Halloween yeah. Mim. They were farming for crits, and hey, guess what? Halloween Mim gives you 30% extra crit damage. That's amazing. See, then you can stack it with all kinds of different damaging co abilities rather than axe being just purely defense. It gives a whole new spectrum of gameplay that you could actually take advantage of, which is kind of why I'm a little bit dis more disappointed with Lachna. I was hoping yeah. Lachna would have something like And it also, like, new co-abilities lets you stack like other weapon, like, same weapon types, like two axes, for example, and not feel bad about it, you know? You're not missing out. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. That was one of the things that people talk about with Goofden. Unfortunately, you know, Goofden won't be able to run with our pal uh, Albert anytime soon because of the way the fights are handled, but, you know, it's a thought that counts. <laughs> anyway, back to what we are talking about, the uh, weapons. Uh, I, I think that, yeah, in the future, say they have more guns and other, like, technological marvels, Instead of having to build a whole weapon type, they can just use the existing type and just skin over it. It's perfectly fine. It looks like it's going to work nicely, too. So, yeah, Mega Man would be a good way to showcase this. And I think that that's one of the main reasons why I'm looking forward to the whole yeah. event. But anyway, is there anything else that he talked about besides like new UIs, new um, title screen and all that? Uh, like that? Not much know, else. Like, yeah, the new title screen is not really a big deal. Yeah. I do think that uh, mm -hmm. I wanted to mention, uh, I wanted to mention. Ju I, just the fact they acknowledged that augments are not in a good spot right now, just the fact they acknowledged that they're wrong really makes me happy. If they just released this and just talked about Mega Man and just talked about the events coming up in November, I would, st I would still be pretty upset. But the fact that they at least apologized and said, like, hey, we messed up in some regards, I like that. That's really that's really good of them. Uh -huh. uh, when the storm's over, I, I would feel much better because, like, seriously, I was yeah. really upset the last couple yeah. of days, S sitting through all that, not getting enough sleep, and just having a grim outlook. But you know, if they end up fixing these things, making the fights a little more manageable and such like that, I will stay for however long yeah. necessary. Right now, my concerns are still there. In that, hey, listen, what if the um, uh, androids come out their fights are gonna be the same way and each time with the learn and you know if they take all right even if it were still dealing with the same pain in the ass difficulties if they do it separated by like two or three months it'll be manageable not all in the same time like this that's the most important takeaway from all this 
They got to fix the scheduling. They cannot squeeze everything into a schedule like that. But I'm glad that they admit that they made a mistake on the matter. So maybe next time they'll do better. Because, you know, people got lives. I have to I have to make money to to, to spend yeah. in this you game. <laughs> if you, yeah. you keep me from working, how the fuck am I gonna spend spend money for you? You know? Exactly. <laughs> and there's like there's no <laughs> audible <laughs> content do. of any worth really the stuff that you actually have to do you have to pay full attention to so you know you need you need those hours yeah. in the day you need yeah. those hours in the day yeah i mean we already finished uh, i don't know about you but i i max out all my dojos mm -hmm. and whatnot so my auto just goes into uh, uh i guess the event and then the wings i guess i just stockpile coins and such in case of something in the future but otherwise you know, I still gotta do the high dragons. I still gotta do it this weekend. I, I'm gonna practice the, my Audric rotations tomorrow. Not not tonight. Tomorrow. I, I want to play some ga other games tonight. I've been working all week. I'm tired as fuck. I, I need to play some something else to yeah. <laughs> clear the mind a little. Otherwise, <sighs> go ahead. Good. No, 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 that's it. Yeah, that's it. I totally agree with you. I want to yeah, play something I else. I haven't. Dude, I have Fireblood Three Houses. I haven't even started it yet. <sighs> No, no way! Know, so. You didn't even start? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you don't know what the fuck you're I missing. Hurry and which, get started. Okay, which one should I choose? Which line? And there's three different paths. Make oh, shit, the first one, because I'll probably play through it again on the other ones. But which is the best to start with? Blue Lions. Blue Lions. Go with Blue Lions. I heard that the Blue Lions story is pretty epic. I mean, I went with Black Eagles. It's also a good story. But it's painfully short. It's obvious that they did not finish the story okay. properly. So, so Blue Lions, even though it doesn't explain much, it, it's got a lot of um, drama. It's got a lot of feelings to it, from what I understand. I haven't even played Blue Lions, but people are recommending it for me. And I am saving it for when I have time to play. Once I start, oh my god, dude, I have no time for Dragalia Lost. <laughs> but <laughs> that's another story altogether. Yeah, yeah, do that one. If you want to know more about the the lore of the um, of the game itself, you know, and want to learn a story, Golden Deer would be the way to do it. But I think that I think a good way to start would be to um, understand some drama. Drama is very interesting. It, it'll it'll keep you interesting, interested to uh, get past the kind of slog that Golden Deer is. I, I feel like Golden Deer is a very t stereotypical hero path. But the others are a little uh, edgy. Edgy is a good way to put it. Okay, edgy. I'll I'll start with the I'll start with the blue I'll lines with the when I get a chance to. Hopefully, when these masters are done. How <laughs> 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 we're even gonna beat the boss? Jesus Christ! I gotta I gotta hurry. It stresses and wrap me out, man. man we, all, we don't have that much time left. No, you can't play time. anything else. What the fuck? It's like you spent your whole day going to school, going coming home to work, or whatever you do. And then you're going to back to more work with your Galia lost. I need, I need, we already went past two masters and a time attack. And that's still not enough. There's still two more fights after that. So if we finish this one yeah. anyway. So we've got a long two weeks ahead of us. I, I hope that um, we should start, we should probably start a static. We should probably start a static. We're going to work together. And our overall goal is to just clear three weeklies at the very least. We work together to clear three weeklies each week. I'm going to look for some people that may be interested in doing this. In fact, if you're listening to this right now, maybe you, you could be one of these people. Now, I'm going to look for some people who are dedicated enough to do this and in the same time zone. You're in Central Time, yeah. I'm in Eastern Time. So our time is about the Hour same. Hour off, yeah. So not we're not like, off. yeah, playing it like fucking 3 or 4 a.m. in the fucking morning and dying the next day. Because that's another problem that Dragalia Loss has. Why the fuck are you releasing new content on Sunday morning? <laughs> why are you releasing it at like 2 a.m. on Sunday morning? Soon to be 1 a.m. a little bit better, but still. Why? I can't play any of that stuff. I, I was just, you know, I, when I saw that, oh yeah, High Jupiter's all that uh, come out and what whatnot. I mean, I guess it did save me the... <laughs> save me the trouble of having to do it because god from what i understand people it took like eight nine hours before the chinese finally discovered how to cheese it but before that i heard that it was a painful experience when people can't even figure out how to do it they they had an idea they were running like um delphi and um and patia and stuff like that it, it seemed like that 
hey, you know, there's actually going to be a different meta besides using Gleo. Nope, sorry, not doing nope. not enough DPS. Gleo's still back sorry. in action. Get the fuck out of here. You can't stop us. <laughs> I saw some great Reddit memes about that. About Okada just being pissed off. They want to keep Gleo out. <laughs> Instead, they kept her in. The dumbest fucking shit I've ever heard. So, yeah, I I'm glad I was spared from that. But still, you know, like, content's being released on Sunday. Fucking serious. Do it on, like, s Friday or, or, or Saturday or something like that. Not like, not like Monday morning. That's what I mean. Monday morning. Monday at, like, 1 a.m. That's fucking crazy. There's no way, dude. There's, I have to go to work on Monday. I can't just stay up. But yeah, that, that goes back to what I was saying. So, you know, we're going to find a night. We're, we're going to try. I'll tr do my best to find some people who can do it. I, I know this one girl, that one girl I was talking about before. She might be able to help me out with that. So if we can do that, hopefully we'll be spared from this nonsense. I, it, it pains me to have to do this because I really don't like to be restricted to groups and such. But at this point, I'd like to keep my sanity in check. So I will contact you honor of finding a group and whatnot and if anyone else is interested just in the discord leave a comment or some shit like that we'll figure something out but eastern time central time and we're trying to figure out like something that doesn't take like six six to eight hours to get finished we, we, we like to keep our sanity i like to you know go to work come home and play other games too for once in my life but that's about it. Anything else you like that's to say? That's about it. Overall, I'm pretty happy. Bro, of course, this is happy. all talk. We'll see if they actually deliver on all these changes they're promising. But if they can do it, I think we're. I think I'm. I'm feeling a little bit more confident about the future. Yeah, yeah. I hope that expert high midguard stuff is going to be for everyone. Like, like you, 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 you dream spoke. Oh my god, dude! You I gave hope, me like so I much hope. I swear, right I read something <laughs> like that, but we'll see. You gave me so much hope. We'll see. You gave me so much hope. I, when you, if it gets dashed, I'm gonna be so, so <laughs> sad. But yeah, 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 yeah. I hope that'll be the case. But anyway, that's about it. I thank you for joining with me for another like one hour experience and chatting with this stuff. But it's been enlightening. I have a lot of fun. So thank you for coming, and I want to thank you all for joining with us and listening to this. Uh, mm, I wouldn't call it rant, but uh, just let's just call it a bunch of brain damage nonsense. That's what that's what this is all as well. So I thank you all for joining us with, with that, and hopefully Okada will follow up all this promises. We'll have a good game eventually down the line, and we'll all have a ha happy time together, actually being able to play other games for once. Well, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Until next time.